I'm just going to talk about a quick uh, mod for my Corad KA3005P uh, programmable supply. This is the um, 30 volt 5 amp model that um, Dave Jones took a look at and his died <laughs> during the review. Uh, that was like the revision A model. Uh, he made a follow-up video where there was a revision B that fixed it. Uh, as a little side note, mine is actually like a revision C. You can, uh, whereas his had a large uh, single cap, mine has three smaller um, medium caps. And there's a couple other minor differences like the uh, bodge capacitor that they put on here. I think it's part of the board now. Um, yeah, it's a good cheap power supply. It works. I don't need anything fancy. Um, one, oh, one other thing is the um, ICs on mine aren't lasered off, which uh, I think on the on Dave Jones's review they were all lasered off. But anyway, um, the fan on this thing is ridiculously loud. Uh, it's so annoying. It is a JSL uh, modeled one. Ugh, it's crap. Anyway. Um, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to replace it. I have I just happen to have a spare Noctua fan. Um, it's an 80. This just takes an 80 millimeter fan. Um, this particular one is the NF R8 1800, uh, as the name implies. It's 1800 RPM. This thing is so much quieter than the uh, the built-in one. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't use a standard uh, PC fan connector. It's only a two-pin, whereas a PC fan uses a three-pin. It's a different design it won't won't fit in at all. Noctua actually sells a kit I believe which includes this but this came with I think my 20 or 40 millimeter fan. This is a NA-AC2 which is also just listed as the 3 to 2 pin adapter. This is actually a pre-made adapter for it. It changes the 3 pin into the 2 pin. So uh, all you, the, the only physical changes you make to this unit, other than swapping the fan, is you'll cut these two wire clips, or um, wire ties, to get rid of the old fan, and you break the, uh, the little silicone heat, hot snot off this connector. Uh, you can easily get another clear uh, wire tie to replace these, so that's not a big deal. And the hot snot, you know, oh, I don't know anything about that, blah, 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 it's fine. So, you know, you could easily just return this under warranty if you needed to, if Corad even honors their warranties, I have no idea. Uh, so, as you can see, it's just, it just you just need to hook, unhook these uh, wire clips, and that holds the fan in place. And I've already installed the fan. It's kind of annoying to do. Uh, I'm actually, I haven't put in all the screws yet. Uh, there are these screws on the on the inside of the fan mount of the fan mounting it mounting the PCB to the fan and they're kind of annoying I have to use one of these shitty screwdrivers even though this is a slot one that's the only one I can find uh, they're pretty horrible and then you just uh, put in the four uh, standard um, fan screws here which are the standard um, ones that a fan on a PC uses so uh, all you do is take out the four screws Take out the four inside screws, which disconnects this board, and you pop off the old fan, pop on the new fan, and then you just you're gonna route the new cable into the adapter. I think I'm gonna take the fan back off and rotate it so that the cable comes out down here, and then I can loop the cable around all the way around the top and then come out because this fan cable is way longer than it needs to be, and I think I can just use up a bit of slack by wrapping it. I mean, it might. It might work just like this. Let me just do a quick test. Yeah, that might actually work as is. Where's my little adapter? That's pretty close. I think if I clean that up, it might work. But I don't want it too tight, so I think I'll just rotate it maybe um, one notch. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the changes, and I think I'll give all these screws a tighten because, well, let's face it, the Corads aren't the greatest uh, power supplies in the world for build quality. So, giving it. Oh, um, another side note is my Revision C model. Uh, there's heat sink on this TO220. As you can see, it's a little wobbly. 
Uh, when I received this, the first thing I did was open it up to make sure it wasn't a revision A, in which case I was sending it back to Amazon. Um, I noticed that this was completely loose. This was hanging on by like one thread of the screw. So I would recommend the first thing you do is open this up. There are no warranty stickers on it. Just take the screws off, take the top off, and make sure that this is nice and tight. And I'd probably go through and tighten all the other stuff just because they're like I said, their build quality is not the greatest. All right, so I'm all done with the mod. Uh, here's the crappy fan that I will, I'll just keep it in the Corad box uh, in case I ever have to return this thing. Um, the, uh, I ran out of twist ties. I mean, I ran out of cable ties, so I used some twist ties. Uh, yeah, so this is completely reversible. Like I said, the only change to it is that the silicone is uh, broken off here. Um, and you cut the, the wire ties, which you can easily replace with the same same ones. So, there you have it. A much, much quieter power supply. And, uh, yeah, you know, if I disconnected everything and took out the module, it would be a lot easier to change the, uh, change the fan. But, you know, I wanted to see if I could minimize uh, any modification to it, permanent modification to it. So, uh, all that's left is to put the case back on. I'm not sure why, but the last screw, well, one of the screws has a shake-proof washer, but only one. And it's easily recognizable because the metal is all scraped to hell where the shake-proof proof washer took off the paint. So, I'm not sure why there's only one or if that's normal. But, there you go. Done. Alright. can barely hear it. I mean, there's no load on it right now, but eh. It's a lot quieter than this stupid thing. What do you want, Leo? Silly cat.